Chokey B. Let me introduce you to a family who's amazed with Jesus and his majesty. Raising our daughter in reality, and there's no other place that we rather be. Through the fun and the snuggles, the cries and the struggles, praising God through the good and the troubles. This is life on the real. I just want to give you guys a little update before I show you my video. It's a little kind of a vlog slash letting you guys know how me and Zayla are doing during this COVID-19 quarantine time. And I want to give a quick disclaimer. Um, during that time when I recorded Hi. that video, you don't, you didn't have to wear a mask. Um, it wasn't strongly recommended or, yeah. or a strong requirement or a have to. So I don't talk about it. I don't say anything about a mask because at that time you did, it wasn't that bad. Um, you know, as they progress, things just get worse and, you know, new things come up. And I also have a clip in my video that I went to do Target pickup, which I don't get out of the car. They bring the bag and put it in my trunk and then I drive right back home. So I'm not wearing a mask because I didn't have to. It wasn't that bad, like I said. But obviously now since you know things have changed and you pretty much have to wear a mask i do have a mask i have like three my sister made me one my mom bought me one and i got one of those disposable ones so i am being careful and protected especially because i have my little girl in there so i just wanted to kind of give that disclaimer so you guys don't freak out and be like where's your mask because i know you guys care about me so i just wanted to throw it out there before you saw this video and i hope you guys are safe and i hope you guys enjoy this video Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. If you're new, I usually post Thursdays and Sundays, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. And today is just going to be a day, I guess we could call it in the life, because we have not much to do. As you guys know, we can't really go anywhere unless you have to get groceries or go to the doctor. It's just like we need. Um, so how we've been... <laughs> Trying to survive, um, trying to be here as much as possible unless we need to go somewhere. Um, I do have to go to the post office to get drop off a package for Jose. Um, as you guys know, he rebinds Bibles and then he'll ship them back. And yeah, it's been crazy. I know you can hear my daughter's toys and she's also watching Fancy Nancy. And I have a mess, as you can see, there's mess, all her like ride toys. And then there's boxes back there from the Bible that Jose orders. He orders a lot of Bibles because of the rebinding um, business that he has. So my house is like a mess right now. And I'm just like, why? You know? And um, so yes, I'm currently 22, 21 weeks pregnant. I'll try to show you guys my belly here it is so yeah this is my outfit for today my adidas shirt leggings and i have if i can show you zayla no 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 and i have some converse which i think they got dirty but anyways so yes guys um that's pretty much what i'm wearing just very sporty because yeah some people do lounge i do sporty I, I like dressing like that and I have makeup on so I don't look like a zombie they say it helps to like dress up and not dress up but like not stay in PJs and I guess put on some makeup I don't do that every day yeah right yesterday definitely not but I'm not one to like stay in my PJs I don't know I just can't it's just it's just how I am like unless I'm like sick like very like a degree severe degree of sickness then i'll stay in my pjs but even though i don't feel good i'll dress up i'll put like uh workout clothes or whatever but anyways you guys I'm like so anyway and yes she got zila got her diapers today um thank the lord i've never been so happy to see her diapers because she gets them delivered so i'm like yes thank the lord because you guys know um people went crazy for a good minute there and just just cleared out everything from the stores i think it's getting a little bit better i'm not sure i haven't been in the store in a bit because i got as much as i could and as you see zayla is starting to cry she's at this yeah guys look let me show you my mess because i ain't embarrassed it's you know 
Like if, if if your house looks kind of messy, you can relate. And if your house is like clean and beautiful, props to you. I one day will get there. But it's not always like this, okay? I don't think my house is always a mess. It's not. It's just that she has a lot of stuff and I've been pulling stuff out because she's getting bored just being in here. And I'm pregnant, so I don't really have the energy to do much. But anyways, enough with my disclaimer. Um, she has all her toys and she has a playpen in the back, which instead of her being inside, there's toys, there's my diaper bags, there's purses, there's just stuff that we just put there. And I need to clean that. And is it happening today? Probably not. But that's real life. And then, like, I already explained those boxes to you. I, I don't know why. I, I feel like I gotta explain. But I just don't want to be like, man, she looks like a pig. No, it don't. I promise. It doesn't look like this. It's just my daughter's getting bored just being here. And we could, I have an area outside that I could take her. That's where she drives her cars. Or she has, has like, like a little mini cart that she pulls with her baby inside but there's only so much of that she could take and there's only so much that i could take so it's hard guys and i know i know there's many of you probably going through the same thing so we all could all relate right please tell me i'm not alone and yeah so i'll talk to you guys more how we've been dealing with it how i've been dealing with it being pregnant and being emotional hormonal moody I mean, it comes and goes. There's just so much stuff, but I'll, I'll, I'll have to go do those errands first. I do also have to get a Target pickup that I want to order and I haven't yet. And Target's taking a little longer now for the for you to get your items, like for you to get that text saying that your order's ready. Because I guess so many people are doing the drive up, which is totally good. Like I try to drive up if I can. But sadly, Target doesn't offer like a lot of the food stuff, like eggs, milk. You have to go inside for that, which I'm like, but why? No, like the point is to try to avoid the stores as much as possible. And of course, I am gonna have to go get milk. Cause it is running a little low, but I think I'm gonna wait until um, I can have maybe my mom watch Dela, so I don't have to be taking her out. Cause taking her out and me being pregnant, it's like a double stress for me so if it's just me it's easier for me to just you know boom 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 get everything i need and just go so i think friday maybe i'll do that lord willing um and i do have you guys on a tripod because my arm was getting tired and the angle was all weird i tried to record this in the beginning and it was just looking funky so i'm like you know what tripod where you at so yes guys and she's trying to touch my tripod my little girl you want to say hi to your friends you want to say hi? Oh, it's very late. Let's see if I could say hi. And well, she just dropped her apple that I just gave her. You see those little white things? That's her apple. She um she's growing. I think one of her like uh what do you call them? I don't know what you call this. My si where's my sister at? She's a uh dental assistant. I forgot. But this those big teeth right here i know you're like jennifer please have mercy i'm pregnant and her mom brain it's all in one and every time she bites on her right side it hurts her and she spits it out because she gets mad but she still asks for apple it's like well, why it hurts you but she loves apple like she loves apple like apple is her favorite thing ever right now maybe i could bring her up all right ah say hi doesn't she look cute with her pigtails he looks just like my husband though. Why? <laughs> huh? Say hi to your friends. Hi. Hi. So yes, guys. Pretty much we so I'm gonna go to the post office. I'm trying to order everything from Target before I go so I could you know I could kill time in a way. But I'm just like I feel like I'm forgetting stuff because I feel pressure. But then again, if not, I'm never gonna get it done. So it's like just order the thing and if you forget something because i guess i'll just get it on friday and i'm trying to get activities to do with zayla here because i'm telling you guys she is getting bored like she is just bored had time she has the, the her gaps that she just cries and she's fussy but you can tell it's because she's just bored and I, i'm bored too at times so i get her but i'm just like lord give me patience because my patience <sighs> They just haven't been as good as I wish they were. But anyways, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the post office. 
hopefully I can order my Target thing so I could go later <laughs> to the Target drive up and pick those things up. Right, Zayla? Hi. Hi. What do you want to tell your friends today? Give them some word of wisdom. Go tell them something. Hi. That's that's your wisdom. Hi. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in my next clip. So we can have a chat on how I've been feeling. I bet you guys have been the same and hopefully not worse. All right, guys. See you soon. Hi, guys. So as you see, I'm here at my Target pickup. I'm just waiting to get my stuff. Um, it's a little bit after three. Zayla is back there. She's a little fussy. She took a nap. Maybe, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I think that's even pushing it. But she had a huge meltdown right before um sorry guys right before she went down for a nap because she was just i don't know i just feel she's bored um and then she has you know a tooth coming out so all of that doesn't help so i'm trying to really think of things to do with her because you know i don't know how long we're gonna be not being able to really go out zayla why are you crying so she's just not happy about that um but yes guys there is another car um at the pickup thing like me there's a couple cars out here not a lot though and i'm probably gonna stop at jack in the box to get a strawberry milkshake because i'm craving that um uh, jose is so kind i'm like i'm craving strawberry milkshakes he's like just get it so yeah um i could see the people coming out so i'll see you guys shortly hey guys so i'm back from the post office and i did make my order pick up from target but like i said it's gonna take us just like about four hours hopefully it's not too long i didn't order a lot of things i just had to get some stuff for polly's for jose um and i got her some sidewalk sidewalk chalk washable chalk I figured that's something that she could do with Jose on the weekends, um, just, you know, because <laughs> she gets bored. Um, yeah, she was getting a little fussy, so I just set her next to me like that. I can kind of talk to you guys. And if my you see me moving my arm, it's because I get tired, like it gets heavy. I broke on my Yeti, and because I've been craving water with ice, and... Um, and it doesn't come with a straw. I need to get some straws from Amazon, I think. But I found one that I had from another cup. I mean, it's kind of small, but it does the trick. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just waiting for, like, for them to, like, text me, email me, however they... I think it's text, actually. That letting me know that it's ready so I can go ahead and go pick it up. Um, Hi. Hi, you're saying hi to your friends? So I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about like how we've been doing with like staying in and not going out unless we need to go do something. And honestly, being pregnant, I think it's different because your hormones and your emotions are like so everywhere and it's hard. And sometimes you feel good, sometimes you feel sad sometimes you feel overwhelmed and honestly for me um i'm not worried i think i've mentioned this before i'm not so afraid of the virus i'm not afraid of i you know i trust the lord and in the end i know that he's the one that allows things and he's the one that like we I, my faith is in him and you know I, I believe that he will protect our family obviously you know take your precautions like washing your hands not going out if you don't need to not going to places that have a lot of people obviously you know be smart about it but it's more the fact of just being home all the time and i'm when i got pregnant in the beginning i was super sick like i still have my days where i'm sick and i feel so bad and i just need to lay down i can't do much but in the beginning it was really it was more and i didn't go out i was just mostly home but if i ever needed to just get out of the house i would just go to target and I would go to, especially on the weekends or on Fridays, my, me and my sister and my mom were very close and we would go to the store and we would, you know, hang out and, and get whatever we needed. And like, we can't do that anymore. And my mom, you know, she, she can't come as much anymore. And there's sometimes because I'm pregnant that I need her to watch her because like I said, 
if I want to do some groceries that I can't pick up, um, I would rather not take her. And, you know, I'd rather just go, go, me by myself and do whatever I need to do. I think it's just faster and more effective than taking Zayla, um, than taking Zayla with me to the store. And, um, it's, it's been hard because I'm a person that, Zayla, what are you doing? I'm a person that I need to get out, like, sometime out of the house. Like, I can't, there's people out there that are fine just being at home all the time. Like, they just, they're just at home and they, they're fine. I'm not like that. Like, I need, I'm not saying that I need to be out all the time like in the beginning yeah. like I, before i had zayla i was always busy and i always had stuff to do and and you know i would work and after work i would um i would go and i would go to the gym i had i would train i had a trainer and like i would come like at night because you know how I, I would work get off have a gap maybe get something to eat or meet up with my sister and um i would go train and i would come back and you know or on the weekends me and jose would go out of town we would go do something or there was something with his family or mine you know like we always did something um but when i became a mom obviously that in the, especially in the beginning when they're newborns it involves you to stay home a lot more and obviously that's a that's something that i got accustomed to but obviously as they look it's bigger um i'm able to go out with her we're able to go Mom? do things Mom? um i don't know where it went Lila. i'm not sure and oh here and just knowing i think in your mind that you can't really go out i think it does something to you at least meant to me like honestly like there's some times where i need to get something and i don't have my mom to watch her and i can't wait until she's off to come to watch her and i'm like 30 minutes debating like should i go what if something what if something it's like that's crazy when before you could just like pick up and go like you need milk all right let's go get milk you know like you know what i mean and is that's part that part has been hard for me um just like not being able to like get stuff for the baby the new baby what she needs and you know like obviously she, as you guys know if you didn't see my video of the little tiny gender reveal that i had um we we're having another girl and mind you she doesn't need a lot of things because zayla has so much she has like she this girl is blessed by so many people and she has that much because some like you know people family my mom my mom is just like so much you know and so this baby is blessed that she doesn't need as much because you know she could use a lot of zayla's things praise the lord um but there's still some stuff that obviously, you know, that she needs that I can't use from her. I don't have from her. And, and just, like, small things like that, like bottles and maybe, like, those undershirts, you know. Zayla's all her little undershirts, the white ones. She would spit up and they're all stained. So I just threw them away because obviously I'm not going to save that. So, you know, like, burp cloths, you know, they're all stained. Some some um, bibs are stained. I had to throw those away. I might even... I have to go through all her stuff because I might still have stuff that are stained and I, you know obviously that's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that but what I'm trying to say is that um there's certain things you know that she needs I need to get a crib for her um stuff that she needs that I can just go out and start buying little by little like literally everything has to be online and sometimes you want to see the stuff you know you want to you yeah. want to see like you want to go to the store and look at your options and you know there's only so much you can see online than from actually seeing the product like and holding it so that kind of i know it's dumb because i know that there's it's there's a good reason why we should say and then i'm not saying that please don't misunderstand that that you shouldn't go out or i mean that it's bad that we are stuck inside no i know that it's to for my sake especially because i'm pregnant for my daughter's sake for other people that have know they're elderly or have a uh, compromised immune system like i get that i'm for i think that's great we're trying to prevent like for for this virus to just get worse in this in the state or in the country i i'm all for it but i'm just talking about like me personally emotionally it's, it's just hard because like this pregnancy is going to be so different um due to 
how you know due to the virus due to the national emergency due to all the stuff that's going around it seems like every day almost like every hour everything just changes you know you go from being able to go to church to um having a smaller group to not being able to meet because i think it's 10 people or less and people just start doing online which is awesome i'm so i'm so glad the churches are just it's just beautiful to see you know how church is getting so um influenced and so many churches are putting out such great content online and people could just yes yeah, that's awesome but you see what i mean that's it's just so different you know last sunday was the first sunday that we were just here um and jose was like well let's watch a sermon as a family and with Zayla, it was <laughs> it was just so hard to like concentrate and really focus we did our best but you know i and i just i'm like i just miss going to church like i, I it's just so so weird to me to be home seeing it through the tv you know like i miss going to church i miss like i miss it and i miss you know just being there with other people and my and all the people that love us and we love and you know it's just that's been hard emotionally um you know my gender reveal and mind you i know that these are so small things like it's it's compared to like what's going on i'm not you know please try to understand this is just me being real with you guys like it's it's, it's sad that i wasn't able to have as much people that i would like to have been there it was like tiny we had less than 10 adults at our gender review for sure and i'm just like wow it's so different i'm glad i got to have one before it got even worse you know now it's worse but you see it's just so different and hopefully when this baby's due you know i i pray that all this passes because i know that the hospital is strict on like zayla won't be able to come to the hospital to meet her sister if it's still like this or if it's worse um, my parents my you know jose's family um and that's just like you know the the you know as a mom you want to see your child your firstborn come and meet their sister and have that whole hospital experience and you had like a hope and everything is just you know that might not happen and i know for some moms that are delivering right now or that are soon to be delivering they're not getting that like it's just one person and it's your husband or whoever that support person is and that's it and the baby will when will your family meet the baby who knows because you can't really have people a lot of people over your house and you know it's so much stuff it's like so much stuff guys and my arms <laughs> you know ready because i have a little um thing on my phone so that makes it heavy but you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just hard. And then Zayla, on the other hand, she's, like I've told you guys, she's just bored sometimes just being here. And yes, I can take her out and I do, but that's sometimes not enough. And weekends look like the weekdays and it's like, whoa, it's a lot. Like, sometimes I just have to sit by myself and um, just process everything and just pray and ask the Lord to help me because sometimes I just get bored and I'm so sorry, my sister, my sister, my daughter just put some, Zayla, give me the control, she's putting something on TV, and I don't know what, it says Tiger Kings, give me, give me the control, I'm not trying to watch Tiger Kings, I don't even know what that is, um, so, oh lord, what did she do, <sighs> so yes, I mean, that, hold on guys, this is, she just touches things, that is the reality of everything and that's been hard that's been hard i've had some issues with my ogbyn too so that's just another thing and honestly i don't feel like talking about it but it's just i'm just trying to look at the positive which is we're healthy my all my family praise the lord till now is healthy and um you know the lord is is, is protecting us and that's the most important thing, right? But I'm just like, I just hope this passes soon because there's only so much I could take being inside. Like, it's like I started baking. 
like when last week and i'm probably gonna make a cake today because i'm just bored like i'm just bored and jose is loving that fact that i'm making like i made a carrot cake this is the first time i ever make one egg and according to jose he's he loved it he said he would buy it i'm not sure if he was being nice or if it was really that good um i, I thought it was good but to buy i don't know maybe um but i'm gonna make a chocolate one i think later on this afternoon um because you just get bored you just get bored so and i know i'm not the only one going through this and i can't even imagine those of you that have like all your kids and you have like more than one and you had like a routine and they went to school or they went to daycare and now it's like crazy right and maybe you're working or you're not like i just feel for you because if it's crazy for me and my world didn't get that rocked because like i said i wasn't out every day like if i needed to get out you know target was my fix and i, I miss target so much anyways and or the dollar store or burlington or ross marshall's you know and 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 it was just for a little while and i would be back home weekends are a little bit harder because i would go out more but i'm adjusting and so yeah guys like i know i'm not the only one i know and, I, and I'm, I'm just like comment down below you know how are you guys dealing with this what do you guys do if you have toddlers please give a girl some advice i'm um, trying to get stuff like i got some crafts to do with zayla just so she doesn't because she gets bored and see like right now she's showing me a book and she probably wants me to read it to her like 20 times because she reads it and we have to read it again and again and again i'm right zayla hmm. <laughs> uh so uh i just just give me advice if you guys have you know any kids around her age she's one and a half um what do you guys do maybe you guys know a secret i don't know share the secret please share have, <laughs> have grace on me um yeah so i just kind of wanted to let you guys know how i was doing oh let me try to get her i need both hands hold on guys you're gonna see the ceiling for a bit Zayla. okay if you're gonna stay here then you gotta stay here okay um let me know how you guys are doing i know it's hard for everyone and probably for ah. others might be even harder ah. like maybe you hear me in the ah. pokemon but i'm just i'm just ah. being real you know ah. being real with you guys that's why i'm starting my channel because i wanted other moms to see that you're not alone you don't go through things and sometimes you think especially when you're first time you think it's just you or this is just you and it's not you'll be surprised how many other women and moms go through the same thing and it's crazy it's crazy oh my arm i don't know if it's because i need to work it out or i don't know what but it hurts that's sad and yeah my hair looks funky it's supposed to look a certain way it's not cooperating with me so i you know it's pretty shaky guys sorry but yes guys so basically that's what we've been up to that's how we're dealing with this whole coronavirus situation that's going on in the world but i look at her no you can't open that and i'm thankful that she doesn't know what's going on like she for her it's just another day and that's why i want to do things with her and, and do fun things so you know she could be protected in a way and i just think it's beautiful that she could still be protected from all this crazy chaos anxiety fear that's spreading all throughout the this country so that's that's a blessing for sure that you know our kids can be kind of protected from it especially if they're small like her um that's good but yeah guys i'm thinking if there's anything else i wanted to share uh with you guys but at least not right now i don't think there's anything oh i've been wanting i've been craving guys so much some um what is it called jamba juice so bad like there i like the protein berry workout with whey wow it's so good and i've been craving it probably for about a week but the jamba juice i have a jamba juice it's not close it's a little it's maybe 20 30 minute drive but i think they're open i'm not sure but see this is what i mean i debate like am i gonna take zayla just because i want a jamba juice 
take her out. You know, I this is my struggle. And I've been craving that so much. I'm even <laughs> considering seeing if they deliver through, like, what is it, DoorDash or some Grubhub or something like that. I know, right? I'm considering because a lot of places I know are doing free delivery because of what's going on. So if they are, I'm probably going to do that because I've been craving it so bad. Like, I know you guys are like, really? Yes, yes, I'm pregnant, guys. I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I've been craving it and I feel like I'm getting fat oh man that sucks you know especially being on quarantine like what do you do like there's only so much and then you just you know you look at your your stack of like goods that you bought and you just want to open it up and eat it you know and baking cakes that's not gonna help at all Lord, guys pray for me that I don't blow up and by the end of this quarantine i'm not like rolling out the door instead of walking because that's gonna suck so bad all right guys so i might end the video here or i might show you guys how you know as my day keeps going i don't know yet but i'll see you guys either in my next clip or i'll see you guys as i'm ending the video bye